How do I know if I have insulin resistance? Insulin resistance can often be the precursor to diabetes or even the precursor to prediabetes. So if you've heard these terms used before, a lot of times the hemoglobin A1C is a laboratory test that physicians or health providers use to tell a woman if she's having diabetes or if she's in a pre-diabetic state. Insulin resistance will tend to come up before prediabetes shows up and also before diabetes shows up. So the two tests that we like to use at Femgevity to tell somebody if they're having insulin resistance is one, their hemoglobin A1C, and the second one is a fasting insulin level. For hemoglobin A1C, we really like to see those hemoglobin A1Cs under 5.4, so 5.4 or lower. The higher your hemoglobin A1C, the more likely you are to have insulin resistance. So if you have a hemoglobin A1C of 4.9 or 5.0 or 5.1, 5.2, generally we don't worry so much that a woman's having insulin resistance with hemoglobin A1Cs of those numbers. Once we start to get close to 5.4, 5.5, we usually know that insulin resistance is gonna be found. This means that your exposure to insulin, your exposure to carbs, so remember, not the amount of carbs. So we're not talking about 200 carbs in a day versus 500 carbs in a day versus 50 carbs in a day, but the frequency of carbs. So every time you have an exposure to usually 10 grams or more, some cases even five grams or more, it's going to spike insulin. And so we find that insulin resistance in these cases doesn't always correlate with how many carbs you eat in a day, but the frequency of when you eat the carbs and the timing of when you eat the carbs. So we look at hemoglobin A1C and then we also look at fasting insulin levels. And we generally like to see fasting insulin levels below 7.0. And in really, really strict optimization and extreme cases, we like to see it below 5.0. So if you fast for eight hours, generally do it in the morning when your cortisol levels are just starting to rise, a lot of times we can find that there's insulin resistance if someone has an insulin level above 7.0, like 10.0, 12.0 or even higher than that. So these are two really helpful lab tests to determine if you have insulin resistance. The final test that you can do, and we don't always make women do this test because it involves a glucose challenge test or a glucose load, is taking a specified amount of glucose, either 50, 75, or 100 grams of glucose in a drink. So if you had a pregnancy, you probably remember doing this drink when you were pregnant, and then testing your insulin levels fasting before you drink the drink, 30 minutes later, 60 minutes later, and 90 minutes later to see where your insulin levels find. This is often the diagnostic test, or this is often the test that's gonna tell us, yes, you have insulin resistance, and we need to work with you with either lifestyle changes, diet changes, and medication changes that can help you to increase your insulin resistance. 